on the edge of the Egyptian desert, where the golden sands meet the fertile green of the Nile, rise three shapes so iconic they hardly need introduction. The pyramids of Giza, silent, colossal, and timeless. For more than 4,500 years, they have stood, older than Stonehenge, older than the Parthenon, older even than most written languages. The Great Pyramid of Khufu, its smaller neighbors Khafre and Menkara, and the enigmatic Sphinx nearby, make up the last surviving wonder of the ancient world. Millions of visitors have marveled at them, and countless theories have tried to explain them. Were they tombs, star maps, energy machines? And what about the missing capstone, the Golden Pyramidian said, to have once crowned the Great Pyramid? Did it exist? And if so, what happened to it? The mysteries of Giza begin with the sheer scale. The Great Pyramid of Khufu originally stood over 480 feet tall, making it the tallest structure on Earth for nearly four millennia. Even today, stripped of its smooth outer casing and missing its capstone, it looms over the plateau, dwarfing the tourists at its base. More than two million limestone blocks make up its bulk, each weighing between two and 15 tons. Some granite blocks in the king's chamber weigh over 70 tons, hauled from quarries hundreds of miles to the south. Mainstream archeology span says the pyramids were built as tombs for pharaohs during Egypt's fourth dynasty, around 2500 BC. The alignment of the Great Pyramid is almost perfect with the cardinal directions. Its sides facing north, south, east, and west with remarkable precision. The base is nearly a perfect square, with sides measuring about 755 feet. Even with modern surveying tools, such accuracy would be difficult to achieve. How the ancient Egyptians managed it with copper tools and sheer manpower remains a puzzle. Theories about construction abound. Some suggest massive straight or zigzagging ramps of mud brick were used to drag the stones up, dismantled after completion. Others argue for internal ramps spiraling inside the pyramid, hidden within its structure. Experiments with small teams dragging blocks on sledges over sand have shown it is possible, but scaling up to millions of blocks and decades of labor raises more questions than answers. Who organized it? How were workers fed, housed, and coordinated? Recent discoveries of workers' villages suggest skilled laborers, not slaves, built the pyramids, but the logistics remain staggering. Beyond construction, the symbolism of the pyramids may be just as important. Their shape is thought to represent the rays of the sun, solidified in stone, pointing upward to the sky. For the Egyptians, the pyramid was a pathway, a stairway to the stars for the soul of the pharaoh. Texts from later periods describe the king ascending to join the gods, his body preserved within, his spirit traveling outward through shafts aligned with certain stars. Those shafts in the Great Pyramid are themselves mysterious. Narrow passageways connect the king's and queen's chambers to the outside, aligned with specific stars like Orion's belt and Sirius. Some argue these were symbolic star paths for the soul. Others wonder if they had practical functions, astronomical observations, or even served as channels for energy in ways we still don't understand. Then there is the missing capstone. Today, the Great Pyramid ends in a flat platform, but ancient descriptions and depictions suggest it once had a pyramidion, a capstone, likely made of granite covered in electrum, a natural alloy of gold and silver. Imagine the sun rising over the desert, the capstone blazing with light, reflecting beams visible for miles. The pyramid would have been not just a monument, but a beacon. So what happened to it? Some say it was looted in antiquity, the precious metal stripped away like the polished limestone casing that once made the pyramids shine smooth and white. Others believe the capstone was deliberately removed, its absence symbolic of the unfinished nature of humanity's quest for perfection. In biblical tradition, the stone the builders rejected becomes the cornerstone, a metaphor some link to the missing capstone of the pyramid. In esoteric traditions, the floating pyramid with a shining eye as seen on the dollar bill, symbolizes divine knowledge lost but sought. Legends abound. Medieval Arab historians wrote that the capstone held magical inscriptions, perhaps even secrets of the universe. Some fringe theories suggest the capstone was not just decorative, but functional, an energy conductor completing a massive machine 
designed to harness power from the Earth or the cosmos. Though mainstream science rejects such notions, the mystery lingers, fueled by the sheer audacity of the structure. And the Great Pyramid is not alone. The alignment of the three Giza pyramids echoes the stars of Orion's belt. The layout suggests a cosmic map linking Earth to sky. Did the Egyptians intend this alignment, or is it coincidence? The debate continues, but the precision is striking. The pyramids have also been linked to measurements of the Earth itself. Some researchers point out that the dimensions of the Great Pyramid encode mathematical constants like pi and phi, or that its perimeter and height reflect ratios of the Earth's size. Whether intentional or not, these correlations fuel speculation that the builders knew more about geometry and astronomy than we give them credit for. Beyond mathematics, the pyramids resonate with myth. The ancient Egyptians called the Great Pyramid Iket, the glorious light. Later traditions saw it as a place of wisdom, even a repository of knowledge. Stories from medieval times spoke of hidden chambers holding treasures, maps of the stars, even prophecies of future events. In the 20th century, explorations revealed hidden cavities within the pyramid, detected by cosmic ray scans, suggesting there are still chambers undiscovered. What they contain remains unknown. The Sphinx adds to the enigma. Half lion, half man, it gazes east toward the rising sun. Its purpose, its age, and even its face are debated. Was it built as a guardian for the pyramids, a symbol of the sun god, or something older, recarved by later pharaohs? Some geologists argue its weathering suggests it may predate the pyramids, built by a forgotten culture. If so, the entire history of Giza would need rewriting. The missing capstone itself has taken on symbolic life far beyond Egypt. In Freemasonry, the unfinished pyramid with a shining eye represents enlightenment, knowledge yet to be attained. In Christian thought, the missing stone is the rejected cornerstone made divine. In popular culture, it has become an icon of mystery, conspiracy and secret power. Whether it ever existed as a physical golden block or not, its absence gives the Great Pyramid an aura of incompleteness, as if the world's greatest monument still awaits its final touch. Despite centuries of study, the pyramids still baffle us. They are both practical, tombs for kings, built with human labor, and otherworldly, aligned with stars, echoing with symbolism, inspiring myths of power and mystery. They are engineering, art, and riddle fused into one. Standing at their base, the scale overwhelms. The blocks tower above you, the lines stretch to the horizon, the desert wind whistles through passageways carved thousands of years ago. Tourists snap photos, camels shuffle past, vendors sell trinkets, yet behind it all, the weight of millennia presses down. These are not ruins, they are survivors, older than empires, older than most of human memory. The pyramids remind us of what humans can do with vision, organization and willpower. But they also remind us of what we still don't know. How exactly were they built? Why such precision? What did the missing capstone mean to those who placed it? And to those who took it away? Were the pyramids simply tombs or something more, something we still struggle to comprehend? Perhaps that is why they continue to captivate. They are mirrors of our own questions, our own search for meaning. We project onto them our hopes, our fears, our myths of lost civilizations and hidden powers. The pyramids do not answer, they only endure. And perhaps that is the point. The pyramids of Giza were built to touch eternity, and in their silence they remind us of the vastness of time, the ambition of humanity, and the mysteries that outlast even empires. If you enjoyed this journey into the mysteries of the pyramids of Giza, there are countless more secrets waiting in the vault, and together we'll keep uncovering the wonders of the past. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.